And so now you have how many shops? We have two barbershops now. You have two barbershops. And you were telling me earlier that all of the barbershops in the area, they came from this barbershop? Well, a majority, a majority of the barbershops from this area came from here, came out of here. Um, there's, there's always going to be a point where a barber hit the roof. Right. They, uh, they have... They have a vision. They have their own vision of owning their own shop. Like most of the people that come here and that work for me, I always ask this question. Okay, where you want to be? Because it all depends where you want to be, what I'm going to pour into you. you right. Know what I mean? Right. I mean, if you want to be a barber, I'm going to, you know, you're going you're gonna to give them different. You're going you're gonna to pour different things to, into them. So if you want to be an owner, then, you know, I always tell them, hey, you want to be an owner? Learn to sweep the floor. Right. Learn to, learn to, to clean serve. the bathroom. Right, right, right. You know, because sometimes when you're an owner, you don't have the type of luxury. You're the one that have to do it. So, you know, it's always, that's the question that I ask, where you want to be? Because my job is to take you there, you know? So you're not afraid of helping people get where they're going? A leader is never afraid of producing leaders. That's awesome. Never afraid of producing leaders. That's your job. Just give you a leader. That's your purpose. Huh? Hoy no, hoy es miércoles. Pero los otros barberos van a venir. Pero venga como a las nueve y media. Nueve y media. By the way, I'm bilingual. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so what's your model? You were telling me the other day, uh, you were telling me earlier, you have a model in this barbershop. Like, now you have, you went from one barbershop to now you have two. You're talking about expanding this barbershop, you know, by the end of the year, or maybe sooner because of your growth. But what is your model that you try to um, uh, produce here? Well, our model is basically three things. Is uh, quality, service, and atmosphere. That's the three things. We, we, we try to, one of the things we, we practice and one of our principles is this, uh, the clients are nobody's here. They choose who they want to get the haircut with. Um, and uh, we actually push, push the client to, to, uh, to sit with other barbers, to sit with the barbers our co-workers and, and the person we work with. Um, that's one of the things, when then like that, we help each other grow in, in the way that we cut and, and you know, and to, for everybody could be almost in the same level and you know, make their money that they have to and that they want to. But uh, that's quality. Quality is basically the haircuts. Make sure they're not intimidated to tell you, hey, do it this way or do it that way. Um, and being questioned, oh, why you did it that way? You know, we, we intentional with these things, with the quality, because they know that when they walk out of this door, what they're going to say is like they came out of here. Yeah. So um, the service is nobody should feel afraid to be here. Nobody should feel intimidated to come through that door. And women should feel happy here, you know? Right. Um, and basically, we all, this, something's happening, something, uh, somebody come through them doors, everybody gonna say hi, how you doing? Welcome, you know? Um, we Having a good atmosphere. The atmosphere, everybody should feel good here. There's no cursing, Yeah. you know? And there's no, uh, no, uh, no music with profanity. There's no, there's no people, you know, with their pants down. I mean, I, I understand this, this different, when you come to a barbershop, men want to be men, but at the same time, women come with kids that are going to be men. Right. So, um, that's one of the things that, that we concentrate is, I know a mother, mother come with four kids, so if they come with four kids, they should feel comfortable in a barbershop. Yeah. They should feel comfortable enough. So we try to provide, to provide the atmosphere for the kids, yeah. for moms, for husband, to be able to feel comfortable for their wife to be here, you know? And that's that's the atmosphere part of it. So you started, you learned from your mistakes. Did you make mistakes along the way? 
<laughs> Made a lot of mistakes, oh, yeah. but you learn from them. And and um, to be uh, to be transparent, man, when uh, when I didn't know that barbers, well, that's G. That's one of the barbers here. What's up, G? <laughs> he just came to the door. He's like, <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's challenging when you don't know what you're supposed to hit, when you don't know the target. You know, um, and one of the struggle was, okay, if the barber wanted to open his own barber shop, the question is, how do I do it? Because as an owner, you always want to keep the barbers. As an owner, because they're making you money. They're, put, they're producing money for you. Right. So as an owner, you always want to keep the barber here. But uh, when you know that they have the same dream that you had of opening your own business, then it becomes, it becomes a reality to them, their dreams, and you are part of it, not yeah. against it. Not against so what you're saying though is is to help you get where you're going you help other people get where they're going yeah because someone else helped you yep. so this life is not just about you it's about oh. you being a, 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 a asset to other people around you to help them grow and maximize their potential and, and accomplish their dreams is that correct yep. imagine imagine Let, let's say let's say a barber comes here and he wanted he wanted to open his own barbershop. He worked here for two years. I realized, hey, he hit the roof. He can't grow his as much as he want to. I tell him, hey, he's, he's, he told me, oh, I, I want to open my own barbershop. I tell him, okay, let's let's do a plan for it. So let's say he's planning his own barbershop. What's going to be transferred to his barbershop? The three things are going to be transferred. Remember, we talk about quality, service, an atmosphere. Now there's going to be two barbershops with the same quality, the same atmosphere, the same service. So now when you have seven barbershops around here that carry the same genes, same DNA, that means that the whole community could be transformed. <laughs> Mans could be transformed. Kids could be transformed. Because they, they, they have the same, the same atmosphere everywhere else because they came out of here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's beautiful to see that. It's beautiful to see that um, to be part of someone else's dream. So you, you know? started with a goal. You figured out what you wanted to do. You set a plan, and then you begin to to take that plan one step at a time. And now yeah. we're here. And the mistake that I that 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 you asked me about, it was that I didn't know how. So so when that when that came to 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 show I I, I I made me stay when how to to release them. Right, right. How right. to release them for them to have their own thing. And and and, and it's, it's like I say it's hard. And you can make mistakes. You'll be like, oh I don't you know maybe you sometimes you get mad because right. they have the same dream. But at the, at the end of the day they entitled to have dreams. That's right. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's a bigger picture. And you know that was one of the things that that really uh that really made me make me uh think about what was my purpose <laughs> frank thank you for your time man i really appreciate the interview I, I hope this is a blessing to many many people and um you can find it on now time with glenn uh on youtube Wow, what a great interview with Frank. As you can see, guys, everything that I was telling you, you just set the plan. You have a goal. You you put the put the goal down. You 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 make a plan and you begin to execute the plan. And my what a great interview. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. You're going to have rough times, but guess what? You will make it through. It's all part of the process. There is no one that is exempt from the process. So don't be afraid. Don't let anxiety keep you. Don't let fear keep you. Don't let anybody keep you from your dreams and goals. It is time for you to step out. It is now time for you to accomplish everything that you set forth to accomplish without any further ado get up get going 
enjoy the process, find someone that is where you suppose that where you want to be, learn from them and let's do this thing. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.